I recently finished watching the first season of Apple TV Plus's show titled C. Now, as somebody who is legally blind, who is visually impaired, what are my thoughts on the show so far? Before I get into my thoughts of the show, in case you don't know what C is about, it's a post-apocalyptic show that takes place about 600 years in the future where a virus has basically wiped out the ability for people to see. So the majority of the population has no vision at all. A small percentage of the population does have vision, but unfortunately those who do are seen as outcasts, witches, and people who should be hunted down. Now, the plot revolves around this tribe that happens to live in the mountainous areas, led by their leader, Baba Vas, who's played by Jason Momoa. It also follows his family around. This tribe is a warring tribe, so a tribe full of warriors, and yes, there is a lot of fighting going on between tribes. Now, things get thrown into motion as far as the plot's concerned when two children in that tribe are born with vision. And soon everybody finds out that there is an army of witch hunters that are trying to track the children down and these witch hunters, this army of witch hunters has been sent by this queen who is a very authoritative leader to basically track them down. Correction, it's witch finders, not witch hunters. Veteran actor Alfre Woodard is also in the show. She plays Paris, who is basically Baba Voss's right hand, and she does an excellent job. Great performance by her as well. As far as the plot and story is concerned, I really do like it. It really kept me engaged. I got attached to the characters. I didn't want basically anything to happen to them. So, I mean, it, basically, it's a it's a good TV show. You got to learn their strengths and weaknesses and, you know, what they wanted and who they disliked, if, if they disliked anybody. The setting is great. It was filmed in British Columbia and Canada. You have a lot of nature, you have a lot of just, you know, forest, and it really does set the tone for just the entire series. It really does go to show you the sense of isolation that these tribes have, these folks who are living in this world have. Now, while the majority of the cast is cited, they did make an effort to cast blind or visually impaired actors, and the thing is, I actually did interview one of the legally blind actors. Her name is Brie Clouser. I'm going to leave the interview up here or in the description below. There, we talked about Brie's role and experience on the show, and also we talked about what Brie hopes that a sighted audience and a blind audience both get out of the show. And I know some people might have a problem saying that, oh, well, because it's about blind people, why don't they cast blind people? The thing is, I don't think we have a an actor who is blind who is at the caliber of like a Jason Momoa or an Alfre Woodard, but I think this is a good way to start, you know, catapulting people who are wanting to do acting, you know, to start getting them to work. And over time, Hopefully we get a few A-list actors who are blind or visually impaired. And not just blind or visually impaired, but for any disability, because to be honest, disability seems to be very under or misrepresented in film and TV, so it'd be nice to get proper representation across the board in the disability community. The way C portrayed blindness is awesome. You can tell that a lot of work and research went into just trying to portray it properly, and there's a lot of details here and there and basically everywhere. Some of the ones that I liked though was just the way that characters would read messages. They would basically use ropes with knots tied on them, and each knot stood for maybe a different word or letter, maybe word. I'm not sure though. The other thing I liked is the fact that they used bells in openings for tents or for shelters or anything like that to basically announce if someone was walking in or walking out. Characters also use things like sticks, staffs, swords to kind of feel their way around their environment, and even whips actually. <laughs> I was a little surprised, but then I thought, well, maybe a whip can actually be used? Maybe? I mean, it is lightweight, so it's not a crowbar, you, you know. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Bird Box. Just the way characters moved around, like little things in body language, things like that, the way they would maneuver around terrain, maybe like as if you're trying to cross a rocky terrain or climb. Lots of credit to the folks who did the consulting to get things as accurate as possible, and hey, the results show on screen. I will say this though, if you're thinking of maybe gathering the family around to watch C, yeah, that's not a good idea. It is not a G-rated show. The thing that I liked the most about C though was just after the first episode, or after the first couple episodes, when they're done establishing everything, the setting, the characters, just the entire world, you really do forget that 
these characters are blind. You start thinking of who they are, what they're doing, instead of the fact that they're blind. And I know the whole blindness thing is always there, but they don't shove it in your face. You know, it's not like a character goes up to the front and says like, oh, I'm blind or anything like that. No, and that's what I like about it. Only here and there do you get little reminders of their vision loss because they're using the ropes or, you know, the bells or they're doing little things like that. I think a lot of productions should take note from that because if a character has a disability, you're going to show it here and there, but don't let that be the only reason you know, to show it. Show them as a person, show them as a character that's crucial to the plot, and then remind the audience that they are disabled because maybe they do something here and there that shows that they are disabled, like maybe they use a piece of assistive technology or something like that. These little reminders are better than having to throw this in your face all the time. Another thing I liked about just see, and just Apple TV Plus in general, is the fact that all their content is audio described. They have audio descriptions in eight different languages, they have closed captions in even more languages. The audio description is done very well, it doesn't over describe, it doesn't under describe, it's just right. Tansy Alexander does the audio description for C. For those of you who've seen stuff like Orange is the New Black, Stranger Things, the girl with the dragon tattoo, she's basically the one who's done the audio description for those. That's who to expect when you decide to watch C with the audio descriptions. Now this is my filmmaker side coming out and I know a lot of people aren't gonna care, but Dolby Atmos. That is what is being used and you'll notice it, especially if you have an Apple TV 4K. The audio description is basically mixed into the Atmos mix. So that means when you have the AD track running, it's not gonna cut off into like a mono track or a stereo track. It's going to be part of that sound mix. And I think that's great, but like I said, the majority might not even notice it. Now what I'm hoping that a sighted audience gets out of this is first of all, I know that some things are going to be considered maybe a bit strange, some of the behavior, some of the body language, some of the mannerisms, but you have to remember though that this is a fictional world that's been basically turned on its head because sight is no longer the norm. When you get past that, when you get past the whole world building aspect, you're going to see that there's a whole story, that there's a lot of characters there that are worth following, that you're going to care about. So hopefully you give it a chance. So what are your thoughts on C? Have you seen it yet? <laughs> no pun intended. I actually should, should do a tally of how many times I've said C in this video. So what do you think of C? Is it good? Is it meh? Could it be better? Although we do know that there's going to be a season two, so that's great. Or has this gotten you interested in watching C? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and yeah. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I've rambled on for a bit too much. I think this video's, this take has lasted about a half hour or so, I believe. But yeah, anyway, I'll talk to you folks next time. All right, <laughs> bye.